adventure story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mounts! <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Gutter Snipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough. She's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time, she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> Race. The sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were going to turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnibbles! Pure g... Uh, just really smart! Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe! Suddenly, out of nowhere, 
My noble steed was out of control! I was about to find out why. It was broccoli! Come on, boy. Please, we have a race to win. Oh. Well, tea time. Sorry to say, but it looks like we're doomed. <laughs> Victory is ours! Wait! Look! Great idea, Tea Time! A rabbit will take a carrot over broccoli any day of the week! Curses! Foiled! Great. End of story. We can go to sleep now. Afraid not. These bad guys, they were really bad. And they were just getting warmed up. of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <gasps> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good! Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Gutter Snipe and McSnibbles come back? They did indeed. Because their dastardly deeds in the cross-country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Relax, Tea Time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. All was going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. It looked like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. What was that? The legendary abominable snow beast of very big peak. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. Yole, yole, yole. 
For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin', and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. I'm Ilsa, and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yodle, yodle, yodle. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, yole, yole. My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> <laughs> There's the balloon launch! You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut, so I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start! A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, Tea Time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. Hey, you can't do that. It's not fair. Fair schmear. See if I care. <laughs> she did it. Wait. Hold on, tea time! <laughs> Quick! After her! Well, tea time, looks like we lost him. <laughs> Ridiculous. May I continue? Oh, oh yes, yes, please! Yes, yes, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumpling, and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off 
course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A fern frond specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. <gasps> hey, why? That's, that's stealing. Stealing, schmealing. After that peeling. One bad turn deserves another! <laughs> and it was on to the final leg of the race! Great race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race and, most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you first prize. What a great <laughs> story! What a great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please? <laughs> Thank you. Wow! Whoa. 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 Hey. Whoa. Wow! <laughs> Wait, you mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our camp out tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolate, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. Ooh, <laughs> 
as it stands now. I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No, but um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great! Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was, in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. What have we here? A four-leaf clover. Oh, <laughs> lucky me. La, 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 huh? la, 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 la. What is that beautiful sound? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Huh? There's a note you don't hear every day. La 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 What's up, Cinepop? You wanna go play with your friends? Well go on, have fun. La 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 my, my. Those creatures are a menace to the safety of the public. <laughs> and to plants. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, guys! Get it out! Little guys have a lot of energy. I think we better go get them before they get into any more trouble. Cut <laughs> 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 it out! <laughs> These are grocery bags, not chew toys. Okay, <laughs> 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 come here. Boy? <laughs> Of it. Like where? Like a place where they could play. A place all their own. Like a park or a... Hey, that's it. A dog park. That's a great idea, Strawberry. We could ask Huck to help. I think his hotel for homeless pets in Berry Big City has a dog park. I bet he'd have lots of great ideas. I'm calling him. Hello, Huck? Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. How are you? Oh, fine. Fine. I'm here with lemon, plum, blueberry, and raspberry. Just say hi. Huck says hi. Hi, hi Huck! <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering if you had time to come down here. Well, sure. Why? 
Well, we could use your advice on a little problem. Or rather, seven little problems. What kind of problem? What kind of problems? <laughs> this kind! <laughs> See what I mean? Sure do. I'll be by in the morning. Oh, that'll be great. Thanks. See you. Bye. He'll be here in the morning. I hope we can hold out that long. Come, Come here, you. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Morning, Strawberry. Please, don't stop. I love listening to you sing. It's very beautiful. <laughs> they enjoy it, too. Thanks. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. How in the world do you sing like that? Well, I practice a lot, but I couldn't hit that high note without this. My good luck charm. I think your singing is more than luck, Cherry. It comes from all the practicing you do. Mm, I found it one day when I was taking a walk in the country. The next day, I recorded my first hit record. I could never hit the high notes before I had it. Now I keep it with me whenever I sing. La, 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 la! Here we go again. Easy, guys. No, no! Oh, come back here! Pumpkin <sighs> heel! Settle, Siobhan! Here, Hannah! Oh, Peter Patch, please! Look, Strawberry. I didn't have the charm. I must have dropped it when I was putting it in my pocket. That's why I couldn't hit the high note. Cherry, I really don't... <gasps> Come here, Marmalade. Don't think your charm had... Scouty! Had anything to do with... Oh, Peter Patch! Hmm. Oh, it's up! Just in time. <sighs> <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. Oh! You can say that again. <laughs> no, cut it out! <laughs> Give me your hand. Here you go. Phew! Now you see why we thought a dog park might help these guys burn off some energy. <laughs> a dog park's a great idea. I already made some sketches. I thought you could put a puppy playground here, uh, a fountain for drinking over there, uh, some places to cool off in the shade. Huck, this is wonderful. It's exactly what we need. How long do you think it'll take you to build it? Me? Oh, uh... I didn't know you wanted me to. We can have a grand opening next week. It could be done by then, right? A big gala, food, music, entertainment. Oh, I could sing. The Berry Kids will help, of course. We'll need decorations, flyers, invitations. Think you could help us, Huck? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. When can you start? Well, I guess I could start now. Great! This is our lucky day! are on the job. On the job. We are going to give this project the highest degree of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Nothing less than perfection. Perfection. It is the Berrykin way. Oh. Hi, Huck. Uh, How's it going? Moving right along. These guys, uh... Really know what they're doing. Yo, uh, Mr. Huckleberry, boss. Did you want these Blivet support corners, 14 by 93s or 72 by 67s? Oh. Well, we want it to be safe, of course. Wouldn't want it to, you know, <laughs> fall down. You got it, boss. You see, Earl, the Koji went to 72 67s. Sorry, boss. I'll never doubt you again. <laughs> Is everything okay? Hey, no problem. I've got it covered. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you better have a look at this. Sounds like they, <laughs> you know, need me. Sure it is. Couldn't be. I can see it, I tell you. And I tell you, I can't. So, what's the problem? Not good. Not good at all. 
Wall's crooked. We're reading point zero 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 three off straight and level. Uh, what do you think, boss? Oh, well, boy. Hmm. Looks more like point zero 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 two, wouldn't you say, boss? Zero 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 three. Well, uh, looks like a three to me. <laughs> Uh, okay, people. Gonna have to tear this out and start over. Let's get some shovels on this thing. Put some muscle in it. It is the Barrican Way. Barrican Way. I can't let them find out, Tom Tom. They'll think I'm a total fraud. Which I am. <sighs> Everything I build falls apart. That doghouse I built, and the fence I built, and the treehouse I built. What am I going to do when they find out? Psst! Tom Tom, come on. Hmm, maybe if I practice, Without anybody knowing, maybe I'll get the hang of it. I mean, how hard can it be? There, check that out, Tom Tom. I built the whole thing, and it didn't fall down. That's one fine wall, if I do say so myself. What? Wrong? Oh, you know... <sighs> I'm a klutz, that's all. Everybody thinks I'm a great builder, but... I can't build anything. I thought maybe if I practiced... <sighs> but you see how it turned out. Look, Huck, not everybody's good at everything. Learning to build things is like anything else. It takes patience, practice, and confidence. I read somewhere that a good building is like a good friendship. It needs a strong, solid foundation. When you build from a good base, you get something that lasts forever. Yeah. Thanks, Strawberry. You know, Tom Tom, maybe Strawberry's right. I need to have patience. I need to practice. I need a good foundation. And some plain old luck wouldn't hurt. Well, there's a lucky find. Nice. Wonder where it came from. Any minute now. Hey. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> Something very strange here. Incredible! <laughs> well, Tom Tom, I guess my luck has finally changed. And it changed when I found this. I never saw anything like it. Zero point zero zero. Zero! <gasps> Absolutely, perfectly, completely straight! The Barrican Way! A 
knowledge of badminton ace. Neither did I. Shot. Wow! Hooks! You are so good at horseshoes. Oh, just lucky. What a beautiful day. La 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 la. Wait. Better make sure. Did I forget it? My charm is gone! I have to find it! I have to find it! See? We have the wall finished. The Barricans are finishing installing the sprinklers now. The playground's already done. Will it be ready for the grand opening? Oh, yeah. We're ahead of schedule. All that's left is the big entry, and it'll be... Cherry, what's the matter? My good luck. Charm, I can't, can't find it anywhere. What's it look like, Cherry? This big, on a chain, crystal, beautiful, all sparkly, and I can't sing at all without it. Cherry, you know you can sing. You don't need luck for that. But I do, Strawberry. I can't hit the high notes without it. Come on, Cinnapup. Look for it, girl. Find it. Remember, Cherry, we make our own luck with practice. Right, Huck? <laughs> Huckleberry? Oh, Tom Tom, I know it's hers, but it's lucky for me, too. If I give it back, I'll be a klutz forever. It's gone, Cinnapup. It's gone. Cherry, hold on. Hi, Huck. What's up? I just. I wanted to tell you. You. Want to get some lunch? I don't really feel like it. Thanks. Are you still upset about losing that thing? Mm-hmm. My lucky charm. Maybe Strawberry was right. Maybe you don't need it. I tried to hit that high note without it. I couldn't. Cherry? Cherry, listen. Oh. I need to tell you something. About that. Yo, Mr. Huckleberry, sir! Big news! Very big news! <clears throat> the Perrykin Builders Guild has decided to make you an honorary member of the Society of Extraordinary Engineers. Congratulations, boss! A rare honor indeed, richly deserved by such a talented builder. That's fantastic, Huck. Don't know what to say, but I don't deserve this. Really, I don't. No one deserves it more! Nonsense! This is it, Tom Tom. The keystone. The last, most important piece. As soon as it's done, I'll give Cherry her lucky charm back. Huh? <laughs> Cherry? Oh, I didn't know anyone was here. Are you all right? Mm, I'm okay. I'm just sorry I can't sing at the party. After all the work you've done. The place looks wonderful, Huck. I don't know how you did it. Yeah, about that. I think this is yours. I found it. Huck! Oh, this is incredible! Thank you! Oh, you don't know how much this means! Now I can... La, la, la... <clears throat> la... I can do it! I can hit the high notes again! That thing's amazing! I was a total klutz till I found it. Then I was the best builder ever. I don't understand it myself, but it really works, doesn't it? La 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 
tomorrow, I'll tell the Barricans I'm no engineer. It was all luck. I've got a hole in my pocket? Hold on. I hit the high note, but I didn't have the charm. Maybe what Strawberry said was... Let's try something, Huck. Let's test it. What do you mean? Here goes. Patience, practice, and confidence is the key. La, 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 la. Now, your turn. You're doing it, Huck. Yeah, but now the real test. I have to take out the supports. Look at it, as steady as a rock. <laughs> you did it! We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yeah. What's going on out here? You were right, Strawberry. I never needed that charm. Neither of us did. Hard work works better than luck. Is it finished? Is it done? Yep, it's all ready. <laughs> an idea. A souvenir we can share. Thanks, Cherry. This really was my lucky day. <laughs> Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barry Kimville. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Barrykins get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> Patty Persimmon in the Case of the Beach Burglar, Part 1. Great! Now, Part 2. Hmm. Let's see here, Patty Persimmon. Ah, there it is! Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. <gasps> Aha! Part three! Too much wine? Oh, oh, thanks, Blueberry. Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> Hey, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <sighs> psst, psst. Oh, over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? Huh? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what's, um... That's Raspberry. Oh. Morning, Raspberry. Morning, Plum. <sighs> Is everything...
something gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your... uh... pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no. I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Hello, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Brrrr! Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, very breezy Bay Resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at very breezy Bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Very breezy Bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere! Bad weather! Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere! Not at all! Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... Our glorious Berry Bitty Beach. Bertram? With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to. <laughs> Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. We're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you a lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive reclusive Berry Breezy Bay Resort? It's really the happy home-built Berry Bitty City Resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... Uh, 
this isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> Maybe closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Oh, wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation, and and I'll I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry, where's my little superstar? Quick, under here. <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing here? Shh. Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry! Cherry! <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm. This gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that is it! I can't find her! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. <laughs> it worked. Bertram, do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. <laughs> You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. <laughs> Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? God! Cut, 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 cut! Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this very breezy bay? Um, but it's not very breezy bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> Huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back, relax! <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our first guest. <laughs> Isn't it... Uh, well, there are no words to describe. Now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. 
And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well, just think. She'll give our resort a great review. And we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great. Except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry Jam. <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> Good job, everybody. <laughs> Love you too, Fred. <laughs> all the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting. Fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground, new ground. Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but... Why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Very Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing, perilous Passage Island. Oh, 
hazardous hurricanes. Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino. Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island. Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles. Are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been up front and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin is melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Can bloom. There he is. <laughs> Time for the very best spring festival. <laughs> According to my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition. There has to be a Berryfest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berryfest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? 
The very best princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must... Love the events! Judge all the flowers! Smell all the flowers! Know all about spring! Not to mention the wonderberry! And of course... She must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage! How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Ooh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Boy, I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest Princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Oh, now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Great! Uh, come on! 
You stubborn strawberry! Get off your vine! I know! I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh-oh. <laughs> We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm going to ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come, come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I was gonna say that! Well, <laughs> why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 What are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. Um, Katie Bug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> Aren't I the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Very Fast Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. you first. No, I did. Oh, let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to, to write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh -huh. Nuh -uh. uh -huh. Stop. You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. 
know. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure Orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You? Orange? Orange? You? It's tearing me apart! It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? Uh, not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know, and we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way, and I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day! <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. 
And now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being very fast princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be very fast princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you, too. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote. <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. We've voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> one for orange, one for strawberry, two for strawberry, two for orange. And the last vote is for orange. Five plus three is kind of going to carry the two, and, uh, Yes? We have a tie! It's a tie! Oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm gonna be in the front of the parade. <laughs> the winner of the election and the berry fest princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Me? But, but... You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I thought it over. And my opinion is, you would make the best Berry Fest princess. <laughs> Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, um, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did.
lumpy. Needs more mashing. Anyone want a taste? In a second, Strawberry. I've got one more bow to curl. Anyone here good at uncurling? I would if I could, but I'm wrapped tight myself. This is going to be the best first frost ever. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean gift together <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot. You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow, it's his first First Frost. <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever. Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying, when winter comes, there's a huge, special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. Yeah. I'll get this me yeah. too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so yes. sweet. Yes. Yes. Let's. Mr. Longface. Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? My... my hat? Okay. Everyone, drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <laughs> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <clears throat> this is going to be the best first brush gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. No, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. It's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. So, I was thinking maybe the green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear? 
hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah. is the one I gave Lemon. I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gifty Orange likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. <laughs> Is anybody out there? Wow! That's the most 
most incredibly, gigantic, enormously splendiferous first frost gift I've ever seen! <gasps> Just what I always wanted! Oh, look at this! And this! Oh, cross-referencing by date of printing! Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very firsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given, yes I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? What? who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one liked my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. <sighs> don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know. But it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um, didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first Frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, 
strawberry? I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding. Just what I always wanted. That's the perfect First Frost gift for me. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. Oh, I can't wait oh, either. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh. And I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah. A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's, 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 right. that's right. true. Achoo! Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy First Frost, everyone. Uh, uh. 
what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's great weather! Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say... goodbye. Like nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well. Darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Berry Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well... Maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame, the fortune, the fans. Oh, uh, hello. Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I. You have? Really? Oh, you do. Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess. Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate. Right away, and talk about. Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gown. 
friends. <laughs> Cherry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Oh, come yeah. on. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? Uh, what part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Go, oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Which one's dressy enough for Barry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know, and you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, a raspberry. Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! Bye. Gotcha! Oh, muffin crumbs! Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry! Plum's turn! Fumble and poison berries! I rent my dress! <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in... Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio. <gasps> my own staff? tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Make way for the future fashion star of Very Big City, the fabulous ra -ra Raspberry. Oh. She eats up the fashion scene. Uh. Oh dear. 
I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Raspberry! Love that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad Scarlet Cummerbunds! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However, did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. This and... Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But, but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, ra, ra raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, ra, okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. And no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Oh, uh, hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. Oh, this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time. We know you gotta go and live your dream. We've been together for so long. You not here will feel so wrong. But time goes on and we have our memories. 
think Raspberry's going to love it. She isn't going to hear it. Ra ra Raspberry isn't coming. Mavis said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The Raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. <laughs> and I miss the Raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for Raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the Raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. <gasps> the Berry Bitty City Boat Race. <gasps> I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I... Oh, no. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going-away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. I wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home.